So, hey guys, Chauso here. So, we got the official announcement of the final Super Super Fest for One Piece Film Red I'm Invincible campaign. And yeah, we're going to look at the pools, we're going to look at the game sales, and I'll save the trash map for later today because we should get confirmation of like point rewards what tablets you can get, stuff like that. So we'll wait a bit, bit with the treasure map. But yeah, the gem sales. Uh, better than normal. Treasure map gem sales, which is to be expected. It's basically an extra super super fast sale. So sure, we'll take those. I'll buy the 285 packs and 10 gems packs, and then we'll see. Anyway. Let's talk about the pools and uh, this, these pools are pretty interesting since this is basically a treasure map Sukofest. So just like with Annie, we'll also be able to get treasure Sukofest exclusives. But the important difference here, as you'll see, is that they do a lot better job with this Sukofest. So in terms of Super Sukofest, this might be one of the best ever, to be honest, at least the best since the first one with Roger and Odin, which had one gem multis and all of that, that was really good. This is probably the best since then. But yeah, let's take a look. The new units, we've talked about those. Step details. As Anna said, it's the same as the last two Super Super Fast. But yeah, part one. Uh, like the past Super Super Fest, all legends will be on it. And then there's 20 rate boosted units. And I must say the pool of units they've selected, very underwhelming. Like, if you look at all legends first, like, basically only Sengoku has level limit break. Like, that's actually embarrassing. And... Yeah, sure, like Cat and Shirahoshi should probably get level limit break soon, so that's not bad. But not that exciting to pull for either. And yeah, it's just very meh. There's nothing crazy about these boosted units at all. Like, yeah. I've been pulling on part one for the others for... Yeah, just getting various units for level limit break and such, but this time I'm skipping part one. For sure, especially since part two is really good. Uh, like all Super Quest and Treasure Map units are available, but they will be so low rate, so you can't really expect to pull them realistically. But if you look at part two, like first with the Super Sugo Fests, like this is the Luffy part, he's the only Super Sugo, he will most likely not rerun until New Year, so it's the reason I'm going part two mainly, so I can get him. But I'm pretty happy with the other Super Super Fest as well. Like, I only like one copy of Luffy Crew for him to be fully level limit broken, which isn't too bad for PvP, so I won't complain if that happens. I need two more Yamato Ace to rainbow them. And Roger Dupes, never bad, just to increase level limit break, get more stats for his great support. And yeah, trust him up. Super fast units like I don't have Blackbeard, big W for me. Uh, Carrot Wanda, I don't mind getting level limit break for them. I only need like one or two more Bon for him to be fully level limit broken. And Sanji, yeah, sure, won't be too excited to pull him, but he's limited. And yeah, the other units like if you look at level limit break characters like we have Shanks, Law, Bullet. Stampy, Luffy, like those alone are really good. But we have to remember that we want me Hawk, he should get level limit break within the next two months. He's the oldest legend by far without level limit break. And as I said, I'm pretty sure they're skipping him because they want to do a versus Sora mission at Baratie. So it should be the next one. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty decent pool overall. Like I've maxed out Kid. I got so many kids on the last circle that he's almost fully level limit broken, actually. Black Maria is the only top rope why I haven't rainbowed yet, so we take those. And yeah, just a very solid Sugo overall. 
very happy about it. We'll be going pretty hard this part, like, we'll see what happens if I pull Luffy early, like, it's not the kind of unit I feel any pressure to rainbow. But, yeah, it's possible I switch to part 3 just to get some pulls on Usopp and Yasop as well. Especially since uh, Blackbeard is available there too. And, yeah. I don't really mind dupes of these Super Sugos as well, even if not as exciting as the ones on part 2. And same with the trash map units, like sure kick on this ISO for PvP, otherwise not a big deal to get dupes. And yeah, like with level limit break, we have like Kisaru, Log Luffy, Barto, Sabo. I've only maxed Barto out of these. So it's not a bad pool, but yeah, like I've maxed out most of the other units, so not as good as part two, but I'll probably get there if I get Luf pull here, if I get Luffy early to get the Usopp and Yasop. But yeah, I think they did a good job with this Sugo Fest. They also rerun in the last TM Sugo Fest units, Yimbe, Frankie and Zoro, as well as a lot other Treasure Studio Fest only characters. So yeah, they did a very good job with this, I must say. So I'm excited to pull this Sunday then, since I'm skipping part one. We'll see what I do on Saturday. I'll probably try and do something with the new Luffy and Usopp Yasop. We'll just see if people put them up. But yeah, I'll be back later today with some treasure map analysis but yeah thanks for watching guys see you next time